What makes a woman beautiful has evolved over the years from clothing, cosmetics, hairstyle, body and lifestyle. It comes in various patterns on the skin and looks as good as tattoos prohibited among men in Islam but accepted as fashion and decoration among the women. It is called henna, a reddish brown dye prepared from the leaves of a world tropical shrub, a small tree known as Lossonia inomus. For the northern women, the use of lily is an age-long tradition meant not just for beauty but also for other purposes. It has a very long uh, history. It's an Islamic something because Nana Fatima that is the prophet, the holy prophet's daughter, Nana Fatima. She used it, so we are inculcating it from the, bra the background. So we are using it up to today. Some, some of our great grandparents believe that Lele at times do, uh, do away with some natural. Uh, we have in us. One of the popular lily traditions is a kunshi commonly used during wedding ceremonies where the bride, her family, relatives and friends celebrate the forthcoming wedding. During most of the weddings in the northern part of the country, the bride gets extensive henna patterns done on her hands and feet. During a marriage like this, you see the girls, the young girls, the friends to the bride, they make up different designs of Lele and what have you. So this is a happier, is the most happier moment of the young girls. When I see a Lele, especially maybe I see the yellow Lele, the red Lele in your hands, I need not to be told that you're from the north. So it's easy for me to speak the language with you so that we can flow. And we meet in a shopping mall, maybe outside the country, these things, identifies us. The economic impact on Lily can be seen as a form of empowerment to mostly the girl child and in some cases housewives use it to supplement income.